Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I am on live and it's working. Um, I could not get my Instagram to um, show up, unfortunately. So I will just have to add that in later. So anyway, hi friends. Um, thank you for coming and uh, hanging out with me. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things. So right now we're in the midst of um, holiday season. I think for a lot of people, hey Sid, um, I think we're in the midst of the holiday season for a lot of people, whether it's um, what <laughs> I jokingly call like a Chris Mahana Kwanzaa ka solstice miss to try to get like lots of holidays into the mix. Um, but we are currently in that space where we are thinking about other people. We're thinking about gift giving. We are also thinking about um, loving on other people and doing like blessing boxes and like, you know, sending things to people and stuff like that. Hey, Sharika. Hello from Georgia. Um, so we're in the middle of that right now. And so uh, we're also in the middle of a pandemic. And so this year, gift giving is a little bit different. You can't uh, go to the store like you usually do. Money might be tighter than what it usually is. Um, and gifts might mean more um, coming from people whom you can't see and share and spend time with. I know for me, this is like the first time in my entire life where I won't have either my mom, my sister, or my aunt with me at the holiday. And that just feels really weird. Um, and so gift giving is going to look different. Holidays are going to look different. But the things you send don't have to. And so each, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a live, tripping over my words, sorry. For the next uh, week, I'm going to do a live every couple of days, and I'm going to talk about my favorite products, um, the things that I actually use consistently. <laughs> um, some of them will be used. Um, some of them will not be, um, will not be used. Um, whoops, sorry. I'm going to be, there we go, stop it, stop it. I'm trying to keep my... Um, watch my comments on Facebook because they don't show up on here for whatever reason. But um, my volume uh, was not down like I thought it was. Um, sorry about that. So I'm just going to be coming on here uh, and sharing some of my products uh, that I love. Some will be brand new. Um, yeah, that's, that's hard, right? So like, so um, the first year since, you know, losing a parent where you won't have your siblings with you, right? So like what's left of that immediate family won't be near and dear. And so I think holidays just feel different this year. I think holidays are all often hard. Um, yeah, right. So also um, someone else's first year without having immediate family there and, you know, since, the, since their dad passed. So it's it's hard, right? So we're grieving in ways that we weren't grieving before. And we're thinking about how to love on people and show them that love, right? And, and bring them close and hold them near and dear, even though we can't hug them and touch them and be close to them. Because that's not safe, <laughs> because we're in a pandemic, and we want them to be healthy, right? We want them to stay safe so that next year, we can come together and we can celebrate and we can have crazy raucous times and you know eat too much and have food comas and watch silly things on tv and watch bad movies or in my case um watch british tv shows on repeat because that's what <laughs> happens when my family comes to my house and i was joking with Joseph the other day, he actually said it. He's like, I think I'm gonna just put um random like Miss Marple shows on in the background and then just crumb around the house every few hours to make it feel like <laughs> your family is here to make it feel like right the people that we love are are near and dear to us. Um <laughs> yeah, Poirot. So <laughs> we could do a uh, heck you paro <laughs> instead, right? Or, or somebody else. Um, that's what my mom and my aunt like. And 
funny, funnily enough, this is totally not related to anything Mary Kay, but I was talking with my mom and she told me about this show. I'm not going to remember the name of it. Um, and she was like, I found it and it's so good. And, you know, I didn't even know about it. And then I talked to my aunt like a week later and she was like, and then I found this show and I didn't even know about it. And they had both found the same show around the same time. Like, so that's what would be happening at my house. They would be bonding over that or season 25 million of um, whatever random show it is they are they're watching at that uh, point in time. Um, anyway, so it's holiday season and we're thinking about gifts and we're thinking about sending things that we love to people that we love um, to brighten their day and to brighten their spirit. And so today, Wednesday and Saturday, I'm gonna come on for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the live. I'm just gonna do like a little bit here and a little bit there. And I'm gonna share like 10 to 12 of my favorite products, the things that I turn to and the things that if I love you, you might find in a gift box this holiday season <laughs> because I think that I think they're great. So there are three products um, that I'm gonna be talking about today. Oh, my, my cheek's a little red right there. Um, Sometimes when I get really warm, I like random red spots. I have another one right here. That's so weird. Um, I'm not going to be talking about the tone correcting <laughs> today, but later in the week, I will be. This actually would be like ideal to get like my little color correcting stick out and show you what that looks like. Um, but I'm, I'll just make my face blush another day so I can show you uh, the tone correcting. It's so weird that my skin bright pink. Um, okay, so my three products. I don't have any makeup on because I actually want to um, put these products on my face because I love them so much. Okay, so the first one is the Naturally Oil. So this is from uh, the Naturally line. I can get my lighting here. Nope. Come on, friend. Don't be rude. Oh, it's also a mirror for me, so. All right, there we go. This way. Mirroring is never my friend. Um, okay, there we go. I think you can see it pretty good. Okay, so this is um, the Naturally line. Um, I'm trying to see, I think there's a comment, um, but I don't see it. No, okay. Uh, there's a comment. I was just trying to figure out who it was from. Um, unfortunately, I cannot tell. Um, I can't tell who that was from. So um, you, in order for your name to show up, I think you have to like give um, Facebook permission to record you or uh, restream uh, permission to like share your information. So um, you just might want to say like, hi, so-and-so, so we know who you are. For whatever reason, it's not pulling up for me on my um, on my iPad. I have my iPad next to me so I can kind of try to track and watch comments um, as they go. So anyway, I was talking about the Naturally line. I use the Naturally line um, quite consistently. I am obsessed <laughs> with it personally. Um, it's really... Um, it's really nice and gentle on your skin. I was just really trying to get in there for the comments. Sorry about that. Um, it's between 99.49 and 100% all natural. Um, and so the only thing that is not 100% all natural is the face wash. And that's because it has stabilizing agents so that it can, you know, clean your face for more than a few days. Um, and so all of the sizes will seem kind of um, small, um, but these are actually like Costco sizes, right? So um, this oil will last for anywhere from like three to nine months, just depending on how much you use it. So the Naturally Line is eco-certified. And so eco-certification eco is a company that's based in 
uh, the EU, um, or the European Union, right? So it's based in Europe. Um, and in the US, you can add about four to 5,000 different chemical compounds and still call something natural that you can't in other countries. So this was actually formulated in France, but it has the EU Eco -cert certification stamped on it, um, meaning that it just has a higher standard of um, natural ingredients. And I'm using natural in quotes because what we do here isn't always very natural. Same thing with um, things that are organic. Yeah, it's a really great line and it lasts for a really long time. Um, so it's paraben free, it's phthalate free, it's SLS and SLES and FLS free, it's synthetic dye free, um, it's quick absorbing, um, it's a gentle formula, um, it's it's really lovely um, and it, it's, it has sweet almond oil and sesame oil and olive oil in it. Um, and it has a little bit of squalene, which is derived from plants and it's an excellent moisturizer. It has vitamin E in it. So it has all these really yummy things for your skin. It smells divine. Like I really wish there was smell-o-vision just so I could like waft it over to you. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my fingers. Whenever I talk about this, I call it a dry oil. So I just let a little bit kind of run down my finger there. Um, so you can kind of see it. It's on this finger. Um, there we go. And so it's really, really light. So I just rubbed it into my fingers. You can kind of see it there. Um, and you can put it anywhere on your body. You can put it on your face. Um, I put it in my hair. I put it on Joseph's beard, my husband's beard. It's really nice. Um, you can put it on your hands, your feet, anywhere, right? Um, it's really light. And even I think if you have like more oily skin, this might not be something you want to lather on your face, but it would be great on your hair. It'd be great if you have a beard, great on your cuticles, your hands, um, really anywhere on your body, you can put this oil. Um, and it's really light. I put it on my face and it's not oily. It's not... Um, it's not leaving any marks. Yes, it absolutely works for dry hair. I actually put some on my scalp. Um, there we go. Right before we scalp was like dry and gross. And I put some on the top of my hair. So it's kind of and, uh, shiny uh, because I did that. So I use it. Um, I get really dry skin. Mirroring, sorry. I get really dry skin on my scalp. And so I use it there. And then I'll also kind of push my hairline back and I'll get it into my hair. So it's great on dry skin. Um, ingredients are really good moisturizers. So this is one of my favorite products um, for uh, just life. <laughs> And I think it's for anyone of any skin type on the back, normal to dry skin. And that's just a warning. So if you have overly oily skin um, or skin that's more combination to oily, you might not want to use a lot of oil on your face, right? You don't want to add oil onto it. But again, like I said, I, I'll i be honest, like I use this oil probably 70% on my body and 30% on my face. I use it on my hands. I use it in my hair, on my husband's beard. So um, when my when my skin on my uh, toes is really dry and cracked, like that skin between here, I'll squirt a little bit on, um, and it'll it'll show up there and and be really nice. Um, and then it won't be gross, <laughs> gross and like dry and cracked. Um, so the next product, also from the Naturally line, is our uh, moisturizing stick. Um, so let me see. If I, tell, I think if I tell you back, I can get it to work, but I just got to. There we go. Kind of, sort of. There we go. Naturally. Um, they have these nice, pretty little blue flowers. Um, this one is brand new because I ran out of mine. <laughs> so um, it's like a chubby, you know, chubby lip. Um, there we go. Mm -hmm. Lighting is not my thing. I'm still learning this. There we go. Um, so it's kind of a yellowish color. 
Um, and that's because this has several different waxes in it. Again, same thing, paraben, flaylate, synthetic free, fragrance free, all that fun stuff. Um, it's not fragrance free, it's synthetic fragrance free, meaning products have natural scents to them. And then the scent of those products is what comes through. Same thing with the naturally oil. So you get that really nice almond oil with a little bit of like sesame in there. So it's a very light, uh, very nice scent. Um, and so again, this is 100% natural in its origin and also in its ingredients. Um, and then it's it has, um, let me think, I have to get, there's like five different types of waxes. So I always have to remember them. It has candelilla wax, it has beeswax, um, it has caranuba wax, it has squalene in it, same thing as the others. Um, and then in the caranuba wax, it has copernica, and um, Seraphira. So lots of waxes in there. Um, they, are, they provide emollients. They're a good protective barrier against the skin um, to kind of help protect that skin barrier, keep it healthy. Um, it locks in moisture. Um, it also prevents like moisture leaching out of your skin. So I am obsessed with this, like for my cuticles. So um, if you get this and you, I actually have a couple of them and I use them on different parts of my body. So what you use on your face, just maybe don't use on your feet, right? So if you're interested in only having one and using it for your feet, just like knock the top off of it and then take it and, you know, emulsify it, warm it up between your fingers until it liquefies and or be, becomes softer and then put it on your feet. Same thing with your hands. So what you use on your face, you don't want to use on your hands. What you use on your hands, you don't want to use on your face because they have germs and you don't want to put those germs onto your face or leave those germs on here. Forget that it was touching your foot or your face. I mean, your foot or your hands and then put your feet on your face because that's gross. Don't do that. Um, okay. So I like to just kind of wiggle it on my cuticles like this. Um, and then um, rub it in. It's really nice and it's very light. Um, and it works wonders on, um, dry skin. So there's my knuckles. They're nice and shiny right now. Uh, <laughs> because I just, um, got that nice, all those nice really waxes on it. Um, and so my, one of my customers, um, got this I was you know said it was really good they tried they're like oh I really like it and then um they had hives and when they get hives one of the kind of frustrating parts for them um is that they will um the hives get kind of um irritated right and their skin gets really dry and itchy and doesn't um feel very good and so they um they use the uh the um my life right um, hives and so usually they use aquaphor and after the hives their skin is like patchy and dry and scaly and doesn't feel good um and they use aquaphor and over time it gets better they were like oh well i'll just try this and see what how it works and usually with the aquaphor it would take like two five six days before the skin kind of really got back to normal um and they used it and the next day their skin was nearly back to normal Two days after that, their skin was softer, maybe three days, their skin was softer than what it had been. And so in addition to like protecting the skin's barrier and providing additional moistures, um, it also helps to kind of heal up um, sore areas and to help dry skin um, really be nice and moisturized. So I'm obsessed with this. Um, I also use it on my lips. I put on my hand, so I'm not going to put it on my lips right now, um, just as like a nice little chapstick. Um, and it also comes in a really cool container. So you can just drop it in your bag, drop it in if you have big pockets, put it in your pocket. Um, if it's, uh, you can put it in your purse, right? So it's it travels light and it's really easy to use. Um, this again will last a long period of time. It just depends on how often you use it. So where the oil is going to last like three to nine months, depending on how long you use it, the moisture stick can last anywhere from like one to six months. Again, depending upon how often you're using it, if you're constantly putting it on your feet, you know, you have really dry skin, you're constantly, um, I also use it on my elbows <laughs> to keep them nice 
not ashy um, and nice and moisturized, then you know it might last about two months, right? Because there's consistent use that's happening. Um, but again, it's all natural, really great product. And you can check all these out on marykay.com slash nerdyla. Um, and then you can just search for the particular um, item. I'm also underneath of the live, wherever you watched it, going to link the product so that you can just go back to the live and like, oh, oh, there's a the product right there. Um, so those are the two. And I'm also going to do one more moisturizing um, product. It was really hard to decide when I made my list of like my top 10, which is why it's actually 12 <laughs> because I couldn't like, there were some I just I just couldn't part with. Um, okay, and so the last product is our um, satin body. It was uh, between this um, and the uh, <laughs> the um, hydrogel eye patches, which I'm going to be talking about another day. They still made it on. I'm just not talking about them today. Um, okay, so this is the Mary Kay satin body. So we have the satin line so there's satin hands right which is that nice um can't post messages to some uh, destinations okay that's weird um something weird is going on in the comments so apologies if you're commenting and i'm not responding to it um absolutely i'll definitely uh, make sure those comments are the links are there for you so you can just easily get to them um, and have them be there. I wonder if I actually can put it in, I'm gonna try something really quick. So this is the new, um, I'm just starting out with Restream. Um, let me see if this will work. I'm gonna see if I can put it in the comments here and if it'll actually go to all of the different places. So we're gonna try something really quick, just bear with me. I'm making sure the link is correct right now. Um, yep, it is. Okay, cool. So I just sent a link out. I think um, it's going to, yep. So you can see it. And so it should actually go to um, all of your um, uh, different spots. Um, so I'm gonna put it here now. And then I'll also link it um, later in case something doesn't happen. So that's the, the next one is the moisturizing stick. That's the second one that I talked about. And now I'll put this one in the links after I'm done talking about it. So this is part of our satin line. So there are satin hands, which most people know, at least your hands like really nice, soft and smooth, beautiful. There are satin lips uh, so that you can get rid of like dead, yucky skin. It's a sugar scrub and then a really nice shea lip balm. And then there's the satin body. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about the satin body line later in the week when I talk about satin hands. This is part of the body line, but this is specific to your, um, like specific to just like luxurious moisturizing, not like being in the shower and then putting lotion on afterwards. Um, <laughs> so this is the whip shea cream. I think like, <laughs> I'm weird. I know. Um, okay. So here it is. It's got this really nice, I've, um, this is mine. I have two of them. So you can kind of see, there we go. You can see like, it's really pretty. Um, there we go. Like it's really pretty and like whipped. It's very light. Um, but it's also, so I just took a little smudge off. Um, it's very light and creamy, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my beard. Oh, it feels so nice. And it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so that's what it looks like. And then you just, I'm just gonna put it on my hands. I really wish there was also like feel a vision where I could just like go like this and then you could, you know, take some <laughs> and you could put it on. Um, it's really light, so it's it was white on my fingertips. Is that gonna go? I rubbed a couple of times. And it's already absorbing into my skin. It's the white, white tea and citrus scent. So it's a really light, very airy um, scent. And so it's kind of, I think the way I usually describe it is like a, um, a light, like if you went into a spa that had a really pleasurable light scent to it, that's, that's what it smells like. The citrus is there, it's just a hint of citrus. The white tea is there, it's kind of mellow. It's very relaxing, um, and I think even if you're not a scent person, this is a scent that you would 
enjoy. So this one is formulated with shea butter, mango butter, sunflower oil, and apricot kernel oil. Um, it's really beautiful for your skin. It moisturizes. Um, it's, they describe it, this is like, like a plush, soft blanket um, <laughs> for your skin. I mean, I don't know if I'd say it's like a plush, soft blanket for your skin, um, but I would say that it's very soft, very luxurious, very moisturizing and decadent. And my, your skin feels really, really nice and really, really soft. Um, when it's done and it's super light, right? So I put it on my hands. You can see that my hand has like a little bit of shimmer to it, but it doesn't look oily or anything like that, which I really like, right? You don't want anything to be like super oily on your skin. Um, and it so it moisturizes your skin instantly, but then it keeps working. So a lot of lotions work for six to 12 hours. This is a powerhouse that works for 24 hours. So you put it on and then it works to keep your skin moisturized for a day. So you don't have to constantly go back to this jar. Okay, let me put some more. Okay, let me put some more lotion on, right? Like you can put it on and then it just moisturizes your skin and keeps them moisturized. Now we are in the middle of a pandemic so we're also washing our hands a bunch which means that some of that nice whipped lotion will eventually kind of leach off but it's soaked into your skin with all of those really nice butters and so it moisturizes at that cellular level consistently right so even if you're not seeing it on your hands it's still doing its job um okay so i'm just gonna link this one really quick in the comments below um, there we go. Um, and so that will also take you right to it. So they were linked in order that I went through them. So the first was the Naturally Oil. 100% um, all natural, really nice almond oil, sesame oil, squalene, um, eco certified, uh, works on your hair, works on your scalp, works on your skin, works everywhere. <laughs> Very nice. Um, and I think for people who are like, oh, you know, can I get any of these products if we like play in like the gender binary? We're like, can I get any of these products for like a guy? Because, you know, men can be kind of weird about things. My husband is obsessed with the oil, especially if I follow it up with um, the face, uh, like the, why did my brain just go blank? <laughs> um, with the Skin Vigorate um, uh, massager. My brain really went back. Sorry about that for a Um, With a Skin Vigorate massager, like I'll put that on and then like, he's just like, uh. <laughs> and he, he just wants to go to sleep. It feels so, so nice. So all of these products are good for anyone who has skin. So that's everyone because <laughs> your skin is your largest organ and you need to have it to be alive. So anybody who has skin can use these products. People who have sensitive skin, I have super, super sensitive skin. As you can tell, I'm like, I'm warm. Like this is what happens to me when I just get a little bit warm. Like I flush and turn nice and pink. Um, <laughs> that also happens if I touch my face with products that aren't good, but that's not what's happening um, right now. I also uh, only put oil on my face and I do that every single day. And this happened before I touched my face, right? So um, if you have um, concerns about like sensitive skin, you can always check all of the ingredients. Every single product is tested by a dermatologist in-house. Um, and so they're dermatologically tested. And a lot of the products, 99% of the products, are designed specifically for sensitive skin. Um, and they don't have added synthetic fragrances, which a lot of people's skin reacts to. Um, and so the next product was the Naturally Stick. Um, again, I really love this. It's like a chubby, fat <laughs> chapstick that's better for you than chapstick. Um, you can put it on your lips. You can put it on your fingers. Um, I tend to use it on my cuticles. Um, I haven't had a hangnail in an incredibly long period of time because I use this consistently. Um, again, I have one for my body and one for my face just to kind of keep things separate. So I'm not putting my feet on my face because that would not, that wouldn't be good. Um, and then the last product that's linked below is the Satin Body Lip Shea Cream. Um, I love it because it also has like the French on here. So it just feels like so much 
um, fancier because we think about French as being a fancy language. Um, <laughs> white tea and citrus scent. It comes in this nice, it's a pretty um, container that it comes in as well. You can see the well, you can kind of see through it. It also has that spa feel to it in terms of like the design or fancy pants uh, feel to it based upon the design of the body or the of the um, container rather that's for your body. So those are three of my favorite products. Again, it was really hard for me to kind of narrow down <laughs> um, the products. Uh, on Wednesday, I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, masking and uh, my favorite masks that we have um, in stock or just relaxation things as well in addition to like masks. And then on Saturday, I'm gonna talk about my favorite makeup items. Um, and then for, any, for all of my friends who come and hang out with me uh, at any of my virtual open houses, I'm gonna be having a raffle um, and I'm gonna be giving away some fun prizes. So if you aren't already following me on Facebook or Instagram, please make sure you do so. Um, all of the links are on all of the sites and that's where I'm gonna be having more information about the raffles and what you can win. Um, I have some fun mini products that I'm gonna be sending out um, that are not tiny, they're actually like really nice size products um, that I'm gonna be raffling off in addition to like one full size product um, just for coming and hanging out with me at my uh, holiday party. Um, but since I'm doing three, I'm not doing one giveaway each uh, each time. I'm going to do them all at once so that everybody has like an equal chance of being able to win something. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for with me. I had a really good time. I'm always so nervous to do live streams. Um, I'm going to trip over my words. I'm going to say the wrong thing or nobody will show up or nobody will ever watch it. <laughs> Um, so it's really nice. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you aren't live, thank you so much for tuning in and watching um, afterwards. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, at me, leave a comment, text me, call me, email me. Um, you can email me at nerdyla uh, dot mk at gmail.com. Again, that's nerdyla dot mk at gmail.com. You can also direct message me on Instagram, beauty fashion underscore or beauty fashion fitness underscore nerdy LA. If you're on Facebook, you can just at me directly, Leanne Goins, um, or you can also send me a message, um, beauty fashion uh, and fitness um with <laughs> with nerdy la um and then youtube is the same right so like it's the same name like across all of the platforms um for consistency sake um so yeah thanks so much for hanging out with me i'm glad you enjoyed or at least i hope you enjoy uh, maybe i'll see you wednesday when i talk about masking um and all things kind of uh relaxation and then again on saturday when i talk about makeup um and all things having to do with like beating your face but gently and nicely um all right friends have a great weekend bye thanks for coming bye